Conventional wisdom says beauty is for the young. I'm, I'm finding that there is beauty with age too, and it's a different type of beauty. Well, well done. 80% of our patients are women. I would say 20% are gentlemen. And most of them, they say, I want to look like myself 10 years ago. The team here, they've organized a little pampering for your hands. A pedicure? A manicure? manicure? Manicure. You can get a pedicure. If, can we get a pedicure for, for the guy? For feet, I guess. On today's show, embrace your age. There's no two ways about it, we all age, but each of us has a unique relationship with our bodies. In a society obsessed with youth, it can be difficult for us Zoomers to welcome the changes we see in the mirror. We all hear that we should age gracefully, but what does that actually mean? To find out, I thought I'd meet some men and women who are not just accepting their age, but owning it. And who better to start with than with Zoomer supermodel, Kathy Fedorik. She invited me to Vancouver's Gastown for a fashion shoot with photographer Trevor Brady. I'm about to find out what it takes to be a supermodel from a woman that's been on top of her game for over 30 years. Carmen, how are you? Hi. Hi. What so an good. incredible pleasure to meet you. It's so good to meet you. You haven't changed at all. When did you start modeling? I was older, I, I mean, um, I didn't start like at 13, so I was just graduated high school, so 18? 18. 18. So that's late to get into the game, so to speak? Well, when I went to New York in 1987, I, w I was like the mother hen in, in, in my apartment, because there I was six of us in a, in a, in a one bedroom, but I was 19, and there was 14, 15, 16, so. So you felt I was, old I, I even felt then. I was, I was taking care of everybody. <laughs> Kathy was a top model of the 80s and 90s. Chatelaine, Cosmo, Glamour, Elle, Self. But when she had children, she thought she was done. There was, there was actually a time where I didn't really want to talk about what, was, what happened when I was younger. I was like, oh, that was back then. Because it was like, well, I don't look like that anymore, and I've aged, and, and yeah. there was a certain kind of shame to it, right? But now, as you know, more and more women are, you know, being featured in in magazines and campaigns or you know, films, every age. It's just, it, it's so wonderful. I think it's so important. I say, you know, models are all about inspiration, right? So this is it. I want this forever and ever. This is my life right here. <laughs> Here. There we go. Your career just went boom right away. I was so fortunate. I, I arrived in June 2nd, 1987, and June 1988, I had the cover of Vogue. When I was researching you a little bit, I looked, I said, I remember that cover. I mean, what a face. So you became a mom, you kind of retired away, thought that was it, done for good? I, I did, I did. It was like, okay, that's good. And then an agent of mine said, I'm starting up a, uh, an agency for um, women of my generation. My skin isn't as tight as it used to be. It is what it is. and. There's beauty in youth, but I'm, I'm finding that there's beauty with age, too, and it's a different type of beauty. And listen, you know, many women have said it, I'll say it again, you know, I've earned my wrinkles. <laughs> and food, again, it's just moderation. I eat it all. I love, you know, I've got, I love my sweets, especially uh, dark chocolate, <laughs> and, uh, you know, not too much alcohol. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's the yeah. end of that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
we are the generation that we're gonna live longer. So of course we wanna look good. You know, we're not retiring soon. So they try to treat the volume loss or they wanna get back their definitions. We're learning how Zoomers are embracing their age. So far, we've seen how iconic model Kathy Fedorik is conquering the fashion world in her 50s. But not all of us have the natural beauty of a supermodel. So does embracing our age mean embracing our aging faces? Well, some Zoomers are saying no. Physicians like Dr. Monam are part of a new wave of doctors that have transitioned towards aesthetic medicine. With the stigma around Botox and dermal fillers changing, more Zoomers are looking to cosmetic procedures to help them turn back the clock. Less expensive and less permanent than plastic surgery, these minimally invasive treatments are especially popular among men and women over 45. And another poke right there. With so many treatments available, I wanted to talk with Dr. Monam and ask her, what are the options? What's the majority of treatments that people want to come in to get done? 80% of our patients are women, lovely women. I would say 20% are gentlemen. And women mainly want to look prettier. So they come for the wrinkles. They usually start with Botox treatment because it's easier. They all heard about it and they want to, you know, treat the wrinkles. And as we go, we both get more educated and then they try to treat the, you know, the volume loss or they want to get back their definitions. So this is a, my poker that's gonna make a small hole here. One, two, three, Rebecca. Are you okay, my love? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Voila, done. But as you can see, uh, Rebecca, it's you. But you can see that oh, the line really, is Oh, really, yeah, it's yeah. quite lifted, wow. Very healthy person, and health is very important for me. And she assured me that none of it will be part of changing who I am or what I am. And actually, it just embarrass who I am. Right a little bit corner of the lips. So 20% men. 20% So men. why do they come to see you? So same reason. They want to look younger. Most of them, they say, I want to look like myself 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, and that's the dream, right? That's the dream. That's, <laughs> that's the, the dream. dream. I don't feel you. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. That's good. Needed a little bit of that. Honestly, it's nice wow. for the job. So have you ever had to say, no, that's enough? Lots of times. Yeah. At, least, at least we get one patient a day that we say no. And that's because one is social media. We love social media, it's, you know, it's educating us, but at yeah. the same time, it's giving us that fake pictures or um, what's images. Right. And something that's gonna look great on you, it might not look good on me. Yeah. Realistically, like if you were to do all the, all the treatments that are appropriate, yes. let's say filler, Botox, Botox and the threads, threads now, yes. so you could reverse your face like 10 years. Definitely, definitely. Well, that's got to be a morale booster for your patients. Self-confidence, for sure. We're the generation that we're going to live longer, so of course we want to look good. We want to, we're working, you know, we're not retiring soon, so why not? Cosmetic procedures aren't the only way to turn back the clock. Makeup can also give you that youthful glow. Darren Maharaj tells us more. Well, Zuma News is taking you behind the scenes of a photo shoot here at the Plex for a brand new online store featuring Zuma Media employees, including a few I'm sure you'll recognize. Well, today we're here for the Zoomer beauty shoot, so we're doing the Women of Zoomer, um, and we're just featuring our beauty products and showing all the beautiful women who we have at Zoomer together with the products. The Zoomer store is a place where we've curated products from around Canada that really embody the Zoomer lifestyle. And so the Zoomer store has our own line of Zoomer beauty products. We have some amazing adaptive clothing, nutraceuticals, pretty much everything that adds to the quality of life for our Zoomers. We're shooting today on white because it's really clean it's simple and what it really does is frame the ladies brings out their natural beauty just creates a nice fresh 
fresh atmosphere. Well, I have to tell you, Jaron, that I met Paul when he was a teenager, mm -hmm. and he was Couple starting weeks ago. out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Both of us. <laughs> right, right. Big smiles, big smiles, big smiles. Yes, there we go. It's just such, such fun. I mean, working with Paul is just wonderful. Working with Derek is just wonderful. Working with you, my sweetheart, oh. is always. You know, <laughs> taking a pic pictures with, with Ziggy's. No, really, it's just great fun. Working with good people who know what they do. Always a joy. Have you checked out the Zoomer store yet? Yes, of course. I have uh, quite a number of Zoomer beauty products. You're kidding, really? What do you recommend to viewers? I recommend it all. Depends what you're looking for. I'm really excited about these stick things. I usually hate using blush and these kind of... Uh, I love it, but unfortunately, they don't come with a makeup artist. <laughs> We've got this Zoomer Beauty Stick for a multitude of uses. Right now, I'm going to use it on Hung's cheeks. I'm going to put a little dot on the apples of her cheeks, and then with my fingers, I'm going to push it around into the skin. It can be used as a cheek tint, an eye tint, or a lip tint. Be sure to visit the ZoomerStore.com for everything from fitness equipment, vitamins, clothing, makeup, and much, much more. And remember, CART members get 15% off. Here at the ZoomerPlex in Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News. I can personally attest there is no product that can replace the magic touch of a professional makeup artist. When we come back, we're going to meet a chef who, after a lifetime in the kitchen, is taking time out to pamper himself. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of getting old. It is a great time of life, getting older if you uh, have the right mindset. I'm meeting Zoomers who are embracing their age. Chef Robert Clark is world famous for his work on sustainability, but now he's left the stove behind and is looking for new adventures. Dean Atwell took Rob to Harry and Son's Barber Shop where they're going to talk about the new ventures and get a bit of a cleanup. Come on in. Good afternoon, Hello. gentlemen. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good Chef, you're right there. Thank you. I'll move ahead. I'll take, I'll take your coat. I've heard a lot Very of great sir. things. I'm very excited. It comes highly recommended. We're going to see, highly how recommended. see how that goes. Highly recommended. From salt of the earth cook to TV show host, Chef Clark hasn't always had the chance to pamper himself. Are you going in for haircuts quite often, Chef? Or? Well, I used to get older when I was young, you know, cooking. I just spent 10 bucks on a haircut. I spent all my time at work. It didn't really matter. But as I get older, I started to invest a little bit more on, uh, on my hair and my facial features. So when did you start actually taking care and going into uh, well, After I retired, after, after I got retired? out of the kitchen and you spend, I mean, once, once you're no longer in that environment, then, then you start to, well, you slow down, so you start to notice. Are you ready for the blade? Let's do it. All right. It's getting close, so we come okay. in tight. Dean, you know, you know when you know you're old? How? Is when you start to need your eyebrows trimmed. <laughs> yeah. Are we going back with you now? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do what you got to do. Okay, just lean back and just kick back and relax. You know, it's interesting, Dean, really. I mean, one of the powerful things about getting older is that uh, your voice has more weight. What I tried to do in the last, say, 10 years or 20 years, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to do in my 20s and my 30s. Right, you haven't earned your stripes yet. Yes, you haven't. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You were awarded the Order of Canada, were you not? Ah uh, yes. So that would be order, uh, that would be earning the stripes. Uh, yes. Yeah. More more yeah. than enough. Yeah. More than a couple it's, of stripes. So well, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's fascinating. I mean, mm -hmm. that one situation has probably affected my life my the last few years anyway more than any other because now there's so many things that still need to be done, and I, I see that particular accolade as as a powerful tool to help move the why for me forward. Right. It sounds like... Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Oh, I like it like that. No, 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 it's okay. yeah, just perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> well, I was trying to say, before I was rudely... No, no. <laughs> so you went from a sense of passion to a sense of purpose. Yes, that's actually, that's a good, like this young, passionate, don't really know what you're doing, just, just full, of, full of gusto. Mm -hmm. Thanks you know, it, it it's, gets refined as you get older. You love being old. No. You're embracing I'm your not age. A, I'm not afraid of getting old. It is a great, a great time of life. 
getting older if, if you uh, have the right mindset, right? Like if you, you mm -hmm. embrace, uh, try to embrace it. You know, I can't ski as hard as I used to, or I can't, well, I can't cook, I can't work in a kitchen anymore. I miss that more than anything else, being able to stand. Like, mm -hmm. Think about it, for 16 hours and cook behind a hot stove, I miss that. Now that sounds crazy, and it probably is crazy, but that's, I miss that because I physically can't do that anymore. One of the ways Rob has been burning up his energy is with the new show, Your Nation's Table. This series tells the story of Canada's seafood producers and ties together Rob's passions for sustainable seafood and education. But I think at the moment, Rob's just happy he got a haircut and not a shave. Is it going to burn? It's going to burn. Oh my! It does. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's old school burn right there. Let's put, man. Some, let's put some <laughs> alcohol in the open yeah. cut. Savage. Yeah, that. mm. like Love yeah. you too, man. <laughs> I didn't tip you enough last time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we've got a special surprise for you. You've spent a lifetime. I don't like surprises. Well, well this, this is a good one. Okay. You've, you've spent your lifetime working with your hands. You've probably got some cuts and scrapes. The team here, they've organized a little pampering for your hands. A pedicure? Uh, manicure. 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 You can get a pedicure. If, can we get a pedicure? Is that for, like that? for feet, I Do guess. Do you want a pedicure? Yeah. No, what no, I'm like? good. I'm good. Have I'm you good. ever had a manicure? <sighs> yeah. You okay then? <laughs> <laughs> Twice. That was perfect. Twice. I love it. All right. Oh. Let me see your hands. Oh, those are. See. Oh, those are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a pretty hand. Let me see yours. Yeah. See. They're yeah. bad. Yeah. Man, they're bad. Go on, cheat on us. Let's get it done. Okay. Okay. Hi, Alyssa. Um, okay, so you can start soaking this. Hand. Have you ever okay. had a manicure before? Just soak Ooh, it. Just put it in. Ten years ago, maybe. Oh, okay. Two. And then ten we'll years have ago. The okay. Beautiful. Gotcha. Perfect. Do you have a lot of guys, a lot of blokes coming in we for manicures? We do. Yeah, we have most of our manicure and pedicure clients are actually couples that come in together. It is the best date you've ever had, isn't it? So far, like I just can't <laughs> wait for dinner. <laughs> 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 You're cooking, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's usually the way when I'm invited. Well, as we wrap up the madness that is this manicure that I've never done before, but apparently Chef has had a few of them, uh, you can be sure to catch Your Nation's Table on Joy TV this fall. Dean Atwell, see you next time. Well, we're almost done, but we can't leave yet. We've got our regular segment with Chef Julian Bond. He's back in the kitchen with healthy, affordable, and Zoomer-friendly recipes. <laughs> Here's a little trick. Make sure you buy the heavy ones. The heavier the beet, the sweeter the beet, and the more delicious it is. Hi, I'm Chef Julian Bond. Come with me while I show you a few shopping hacks to save some money. Beets. Here's the thing. Golden beets, fancy color, red beets, which one do you buy? They're both the same price, and nutritionally, they're exactly the same. Here's a little trick. Make sure you buy the heavy ones. The heavier the beet, the sweeter the beet, and the more delicious it is. I'm gonna take these and bake them, and I'm gonna serve them with my ultimate vegetable in this entire store, and that's lentils. We're gonna talk about your pantry at home. So, I always encourage everybody, have a nice selection of dry produce, that you can use when you need them. Yes, cans are convenient. But if I buy a bag of lentils, which costs just a little bit more than that one can, I have four times as much, and it'll last a heck of a lot longer. So today we're gonna make a beautiful salad with beets, and lentils. So first thing is the lentils. So I've pre-cooked these in boiling water with a little bit of salt. If you don't want to boil lentils, you can always use canned. The other ingredient we need today is those beets. You're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. You're going to take a little bit of salt and you're going to wrap them up. You're gonna throw those into a hot oven. 375 should do it and they're gonna take two hours. And there's mine that I roasted earlier. The best thing to use to peel these is a paper towel. And you end up with beautiful beets that I've just quartered into four. So this is how we build our salad, really easy. We take our beautiful lentils, lemon juice. Just love it. Olive oil. A few spices, small paprika. 
This is a little crushed chili. These are from Gourmet Warehouse. This is their Côte d'Azur brand. Fresh chili. How much is up to you? So, I'm gonna put them in there. Let me mix that together. We're gonna take our arugula. Just gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Our lentils. Taking my beets. You know, we all need more vegetables in our life. Not everything has to have meat. The goat cheese is in the freezer. Why is it in the freezer? Because I'm gonna use very little and stretch it out. Watch this. And we're going to make it snow. Super nutritious, very inexpensive, and you know, it'll blow any of your guests away, whether it's just a family dinner or your next dinner party. Getting older is a fact of life, but that doesn't mean we have to be afraid of it. Embracing our age can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but the common thread seems to be to just find joy in every opportunity that comes to us later in life. Kathy loves modeling, and she's not about to let her age or a youth-obsessed beauty culture stop her from pursuing her passion. We're never too old to rediscover the things that brought us joy in our youth. Capturing that feeling can do wonders for our bodies and our minds. And that's the show. Remember, as our CARP chairman, Moses Neimer, always says, the best way to keep going is to keep going. So CARPE DMNC's your day.